Hey guys, how you doing? This is Mango Etc. I'm here today to bring the review for My Hero Academia Manga Chapter 206. So the third set is over with the result being a draw. Obviously, if you've read the chapter, you know this. So off screen, um, was it? Yeah, um, Mr. Tarkun, as I'm gonna call him, gets captured, leaving them in a one um one one scenario. Um both have on one person captive. And we know we saw the four people who were KO within the last chapter. It turns out that uh, Ida, he's not unconscious, but he cannot move. So, yeah, basically, four people are unable to do a thing now, leaving it in a one vs one scenario. Miss Horns and uh, Soji. So, Miss Horns does the smart thing, realizing she is not strong enough to take on Soji by herself. Not being strong enough to take on Shoji by herself, she takes the scenario to the best of her ability. Using her horns, she frees up, uh, I think it was, was it all of them? But free up her team members, take them up into the air, out of Shoji's reach. Uh, I guess she was probably waiting for them to come conscious again, so it could be like a free on one rush. But she knew by herself she was going to lose so she took the scenario to the best of her ability keeping everyone out of reach and bringing the fight to a drop so she did the best smart thing for her so round of applause for her so after the fight it ended in the draw time limit running now we do see some of the characters reflecting back on how they performed we have Ida who's like nah I should have been faster. I think this is more of a um, what's the word? Now? I think he's be, I think he's being too hard on himself. In in his case, I think he's being too hard on himself, and he really did do the best one hundred percent of the time within this little battle. Um, my only problem with Ida right now, like I said in my last review, is that I don't want him to become his brother, his brother two I want him to learn from his brother. Uh, possibly finds mistakes in his ways, improve on them and become his own hero. With Shoto now, we see him realising, yo, I've got into this habit of always starting off with ice and maybe, like someone, like someone said earlier, if I did start off and relentlessly tack with fire, things could have been different. We also had Tetsu Tetsu saying, yeah, I say to Shoto, yeah, I know we fought to a draw, but I lost, <laughs> I lost, I still got to get better. So everyone realising that they need to be bigger and better. And there was this, that other guy who was in the hospital as well who said, like, yo, like, Shoto, I, don't, I need to fight you again because I've still got ways to go as well. So that happens in the middle of the chapter. And at the end of the chapter, we start, we get ready for the fourth set to start. Back it goes, set, and now... The way the chapter leaves off makes me think that, what, well, Bakugo has a plan and I personally think his plan doesn't really involve much teamwork and well Bakugo has always been a confident slash cocky guy, um, that's been a given from the get go and but I do feel like behind the scenes because he has been doing the extra classes and I reckon he does go off on the um he does go off by himself probably a lot to do some secret training of his own. Plus he does mention at the end plus he does have the thought to um, he does have the thought to himself at the end of the chapter, you know, no, Deku. You must be watching this. So I do think he is going to do some solo tish in the next chapter. And it would be cool to see Bakugo work through the whole group by himself with the rest of his teammates doing little to nothing at all. But at the same time, there has been hints that there is a girl in class B that could possibly be, well, if there is going to be any trouble for Bakugo, it's going to be her. So I'm looking out, I'm looking out for that as well. It would be nice. It would be nice if maybe 
um, because it's full verse full of that. But regardless of that, um, it would be nice if Bakugo could work through the rest of the crew by himself, have trouble with this girl that's been mentioned, and then we have Bakugo realize, yo, okay, I need, I need the team for this. I can't do, can't do this solo, because that would show some growth for um for him. We know he's usually the independent one who likes to go off by himself. We did see that side of Shoto in the exam arc, in the license exam arc, but we haven't really seen this independent side of him, or at least I haven't anyway, since then. Especially within this group activity that he just participated in, he was really full, like, working with the group. So it would be nice to see that from back ago as well, just to show that he's at least matured a little bit. Um, since way back then. So that's everything I've got to say about this chapter. I do believe it is worthy of the free star rating and I'll call it a review. Like always, guys, must have your thoughts and opinions. If you haven't already, please go to my YouTube channel. But most importantly, take care. Have a nice day.